All right, folks. It's the end of the weekend, pretty much. Sunday evening, around 7.20ish in the evening. What did we do this weekend, Sadie? Uh, I built a bird feeder that we put in the front yard today. I uh, started on it yesterday, finished it up today, got it mounted, got bird seed in it. I haven't seen any birds on it yet. It'll probably take them a day or two before they get their nerve to go check it out. So we're going to celebrate or something. We've got, what do we got here? I want to try to show you something here. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera or not. Come on. This one here has a lot of floaters in it. All right. What we got, Sadie? We have got Sweetwater Brewing Company 420 strain. Mango Kush Wheat Ale. Malt beverage with natural hemp type flavor. Contains no hemp. Mango Kush Ale Wheat Ale. A second sticky hit from 420 strain. An American wheat packed with herbal, juicy mango notes and a distinctive dank nose. Strain specific turpins and natural hemp type flavors complement the hop and malt bill delivering a euphoric ale with that fresh olfactory bonus rip a strange new strain indeed 12 fluid ounces 5% alcohol contains no hemp Sweetwater Brewing Company, Atlanta, Georgia. And then engraved in the actual bottle, it says, Don't float the mainstream. This thing is loaded. Absolutely loaded. I don't, man, I wish I could get this on. I don't know if we can make out those floaters in there or not. All right. Never had this. I've had sweet water. Never had this particular one. All right. Oh, let's start off with the smell. Wow, that kind of smells weird. I'm not a 420 or so. Don't get the wrong impression. Hmm. Hmm. It almost smells like one of those tangerine IPAs. Okay. So it's not been too crazy. Uh, it rained a bunch last week, but Saturday and Sunday have been fairly nice. Okay. Um, kind of hot, but not as hot as it could be. Um, this Sunday evening, it's I came outside because it's actually nice come outside it's not blazing hot humid without further ado Sadie let's try this out like I said it smells like that tangerine IPA we had from stone stone brewing company I think it was called it's kind of what this smells like it's got a ton of floaters in there man this wheat ale tastes awful IPA-ish, in my opinion. That's pretty bitter. Bunch of neighbors out. Actually got new neighbors over there, I think. They put up a pen yesterday, uh, the past week, and they've got some horses in there. Then we got a new neighbor, two, two over. My neighbor here has said he's met them today or yesterday, I guess. Okay, right off the bat, the bottle says don't float the mainstream. If you're mainstream regular beer, 
you know, the likes, Millers and Coors and Buds. This is not going to be for you. Don't try this. This is pretty harsh, in my opinion. I think I almost like the last IPA I had better. Uh, so, my opinion of Sweetwater Brewing Company 420 strain, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. Um, review, I might give this a three or four. I will never buy this again. Saying mango, I am not getting any mango. I'm not getting anything good. Nothing fruity tasting. It tastes, it tastes like an IPA, a bad IPA. All right. So last weekend, I didn't feel like I really got much productive done. Uh, it was the weekend after Memorial Day. And I guess it was the four-day weekend of Memorial Day. Come the next weekend, I was just beat. Was not feeling it. Did not get anything done. So this week, I started working on the uh, front deck again. Taking some more steps down towards the front. I did some work on that. And then this weekend, I got the bird feeder done. I felt fairly productive. Okay. When you're out here on 10 acres, you got a lot more to do. Stuff like mowing the yard, mowing the yard and weed eating, that will take a whole day just by itself when you've got a bunch of property. I did not realize that coming from the city. Coming from the city, it took me one hour to mow and weed eat maybe. And even then I was like, man, this mowing stinks. I bet you it takes me four to five hours to bush hog all of this. I usually split it up in two days. So, and then weed eating takes another hour just by itself if you weed eat everything. You know, mailbox, house, around trees. We got some new trees out here. I got some oak trees and maple trees transplanted. They're looking good. You gotta keep the grass away from them. Uh, keep the kudzu back. That is a lot of work, okay? So when it rains, this grass grows like crazy. It's a lot of work trying to uh, do other projects on top of that, so. But it's enjoyable, I enjoy. I'd rather much be out here doing all that than in the city behind some gas station with people being rude, bumping their music all night, okay? It still happens out here. There's a couple, about three houses down, somebody had a heck of a party, but that's been about it since I've been here. Almost, I think we're going on getting to three years, maybe over two, but being out in the country, I love it. Okay, I'm rambling on now. <clears throat> 420 strain, mango kush wheat L. I don't recommend it. I'm not saying don't try it. Some of you IPA guys will probably love it, but not for me. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a good weekend, or I hope you had a good weekend. Have a good week, work week coming up. Thanks for watching.